Good morning to you all. Honorable Vice Chancellor of Coimbra University, Professor Birbadra Paji. The Honorable Secretary of National Education Society, Sri S. N. Nagarajji. The Dean and Faculty of Education, the Chairman of the Department of Education, Dr. C. Geeta Ji. And the President of National Education Society, Sri G. S. Narayan Rao Ji. And the Principal of this College, Sri Chidanand Ji. The organizing secretary of this two days national seminar, Ms. Lavanyaji, and the IQSC coordinator of this college, Sri Manju, and the dignified members who are participating in this program, <coughs> Professor Muay Gaudaji, and the resource person who is going to deliver his uh, session in the afternoon session, uh, Dr. Achan Vishwanandji, and the another chairperson of the session, Dr. Suvarnaji, Professor Prakash, Dr. Prakash, Dr. Prashant, Dr. Masalwada, Dr. Ramamani, Dr. Karnakar, and all the dignified teacher educators who are gathered here for witnessing the two days sessions as well as contributing your best to revamp the teacher education sector uh, which we are experiencing and which we are expecting in the near future. Uh, before starting my presentation or adding my views to this session, I would like to quote an illustration which has happened recently. You might have heard about the Twitter Everybody knows because it's a generation of technology. Recently, the Twitter has been purchased by a person whose name is Elon Musk. If you remember, the price of that Twitter, it is $42 billion. Twitter is nowhere existed in the air. We cannot do with the Twitter, and Twitter will not produce anything which is useful for the human beings. Then what made the Elon Musk to purchase to a huge amount? And you believe me, the overall budget of the 70 countries around the globe is less than that. Prapanchada yappattu deshagala varshika adaya yappattu nalavattiradu billion dollar koti as to illa. Antidrali, Elon Musk, Yaki Astondu Hana Kutu Kadi Madidani, Ananta Prashne now Hakondre. We will come to know that there is something going on in the world. Because the economist, Honorable Vice Chancellor, is here, who was talking about the economic development of this country. Then, where we are investing that? Where the investment is going on nowadays? It is going on on the technology and it is going on on the data. Elon Musk he wants more data from the people. And who are giving them the data? We are the people who are providing them the data through the different platforms. It may be through WhatsApp, it may be through Facebook, or it may be through Twitter. What is the use of that data? The data will govern you, which is already doing. They will take our data and they process it through artificial intelligence and tomorrow the data will tell you that what food you have to take, which doctor you have to consult, what dress you have to wear, which restaurant you have to visit and what food you have to order, even to whom you have to marry. The days are not too far. Because every time the data we are providing to the artificial intelligence will be collected day by day, minute by minute. Just over here, we'll be able to take a photo of the camera, we'll be able to take a photo of the camera, which means, now data will be able to take a photo. This is one small citation I'm making here. The reason why is, if this goes on increasing day by day, what would happen in the future? Noan Harari, a historian from Iran, 
he says that he has written a very good, good book all we must teach us read this that is the 21st lessons 21 lessons for 21st century david to puskavana odi he is saying that tomorrow all the professionals will lose their jobs this is one aspect then the second important aspect is though we may be professionals in future but we may not be in a condition to carry on the professions doctors will doctor agirtare but doctor giri madakagala teachers will teacher agirtare but teacher giri madakagala because we will lose our competencies because there something is new coming up that advanced intelligence techniques will be coming up we may not fit in that factor so we naturally will be less competent enough to compete with that this is what the alarming signal is if the case is so how best our teacher education should be revamped then this is a small example i am quoting you hige mundurudre namma teacher education na elli revamp maartira anodu ondu prashne barutte adr jothege another question we have to ask ourselves why this revamping is needed all of sudden we are talking about an nep we are talking about the changes which are taking place in the education sector and naturally in all sectors as well in economics in political science in sociology all the factors we are observing and we are perceiving that the learner style of learning has been changed a lot if you are using the same chalk and talk method to the today's learners that will not going to fit at all they will outrightly reject you but something new has to be added in our teaching learning process and that's the reason why we have to revamp and we all know that the teacher education is like a mother of all education systems unless and until we prepare good teachers in our system the education system will not survive will not update themselves or itself for the next generation so these are the aspects we have to think in detail and the very important aspects we have to consider ourselves that the revamping needed maybe because of the nep 2020 which has rightly mentioned that changes are being included i needed to be changed in all aspects of the life in the teaching learning process in economic aspects in the learning aspects yes fine that may be one of the important reasons then second important reason is as i already mentioned that the style of learners has been changed a lot so that is maybe the second reason and third reason is india wants to address the issues of education there are a lot of issues this is the right time to think what best we can provide to that particular issues so that we can come out with the solutions and the four important aspect is teachers are the pillars of education system that's the reason why we are all here to discuss and think of the changes which are needed to be included in the next few months or years as you know that there are a big document which has been published in 2019 that is national education policy draft report which runs about 478 pages i a lot of aspects have been introduced recommended very clearly there are two important chapters which are exclusively for teachers and teacher education one is the fifth chapter which is on teachers and the 15th chapter it is on teacher education under the higher education and it has recommended the continuous professional development aspects what should be the platform how professional development can be expected from different platforms from different agencies to the in service as well as pre service teachers and it talks about the school complex it talks about the professional standards it talks about the special educators it talks about the approach to education how we must have or how we must design different approaches to education and it talks about the multidisciplinary institutions now we are having more than 16000 stand alone institutions and nep is strongly recommended that we must shift our stand alone institutions to multidisciplinary institutions and it has also talked about the technology use again a separate chapter has been uh, given to that then here we have to think that there are three variety of courses we are having in teacher education what about the nep is talking about a four year itep two year b ed course and one year b ed course one year m ed course two year m ed course if we are having such a huge number of varieties of teacher education process
how to equalize them is a big challenge. Of course, NET is talking about to equalize it, but it is the responsibility of the teacher educators and the policy makers and the curriculum developers to equalize it so that we can expect the same kind of competencies in all the varieties of training programs. This can be one of the important revamping challenge we may be having. And it also talks about there must be only one teacher education course that is ITEP till 2013 and those ITEP completed graduates will be appointed in the schools. If the case is so, what about the one year and two year B.Ed course candidates? Because NEP hasn't talked anything about these two courses. Again, it's a very big challenge from all of us on, on the part of teacher educators to think how to equalize and what kind of appointment opportunities we can provide and we can suggest to the government or the policy makers to, to include those that, that set of a qualified teachers in the stream. And NEP is talking about very clearly Indian teachers must have Indian values, ethos, culture and even the traditions. And not only this, even updating the technological and pedagogical aspects. If the case is so, I am very too sorry to say this element at, at this point of time is we had a lot of experiments in India. Shantini Ketana was one of the best experiments we had in India. But NEP has not at all cited a single time in the document. When it is saying that if we should have the cultural ethos of India, why can't we use our own experiments? And another best example we had is the Nai Talim by Mahatma Gandhi. The basic education has been tried out for a number of years and till today in B.Ed courses we, we teach them. So these are the two important experiments we need to adopt in the curriculum development and different aspects of teacher education. And another three aspects, the philosophical thoughts I have to mention here is the Jiddu Krishnamurti's philosophical thought of holistic approach of education. We need to adopt it. Arubindo's integrated education and Vivekananda's man-making education. So these are all the aspects we need to concentrate and uh, imbibe them in the teaching learning processes in terms of having it in the curriculum so that we can revamp it in the teacher education. And one of the important aspects I would like to highlight here is there are seven important commissions which have been set up by the central government in collaboration with regional college of education as well as the NCRT. Hardly many of the teacher educators know about this. Let me cite those seven important review committees, the Nag Chaudhary Committee, Mathur Committee, Kapoor Committee, Sabanayagam Committee, Kulkarni Bose Committee, Madhuri Shah Committee and Administrative Staff College of India Committee and not only these seven, there are still more committees like Jangira, Yashpal and Varma Committee. All these committees have cited their own recommendations towards having one year B.Ed course, two year B.Ed course as well as four year B.Ed course in terms of integrated course. But many of the committees have recommended that the ITEP will not work in India. These are all the committees constituted by the government of India only. But few committees are saying that in Indian situation, our students are not matured enough to decide to become teacher after secondary or higher secondary education. So if the case is so, how to revamp when NEP is strongly suggesting that we must have IT programs till 2030. This is one of the important things. And Justice Verma Committee, we all know that. Lot of havoc has been created by the recommendations of Justice Verma Committee because Verma Commission has told that more than 10,000 standalone colleges in this country are not doing up to the mark. They are not serving, instead they are selling the degrees. Very sorry to say this. They are selling the degrees for a price. And Justice Verma cites that when all the students pass in the B.Ed course, hardly we find failed student. <coughs> Students teachers We won't fail our students. That we have to accept it. If the case is so, why the past BA students will fail in qualifying examination? This is the thing Justice Verma asked. 
विद्यार्थी बी एडल पास आता याकेटी परीक्षा प्रतिशत विद्यार्थी फेल आता है कॉर्ट मैं जस्टिस वर्मा एंड क्लवर क्रेडिबिटी आक्चुअली क्रेडिबिटी आफ द टीचर एडुकेटर्स आफ दिस कंट्री एंड जस्टिस वर्मा सजेस्टेड दैट वि मस्ट बिल अ स्ट्रांग एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट वेर इन वि कैन हाव एम एड कॉर्स बी एड कॉर्स डिएलडी कॉर्स इफ पॉसिबल ईटेप ईटेप वॉज एन आपशन सो ईर एला कमीशन ना स्ट्रांगी ईटेप हाईवल हमोदे ना तैयार अब प्रमुख अंश आगते जो वि डोट नो द फेट आफ डयट वि डोट नो द फेट आफ सिटी अंड वि डोट नो द फेट आफ एडेड कॉलेज नो बड़ी नोस नाकाश आगते नम ने कड़स्तारीचर्स अधोगत ना कॉलेज क्लोज आईटप नमदे नम मेनेजमेंट इनकोदे What would be the fate of these teacher educators? They are serving this stream for for more than ten and two decades actually. They are well qualified. They are competent enough. Even Professor Vishwanath may be accepting my point also. If nobody knows exactly what happens, and all of a sudden, a policy document comes from Higher Education Council, a policy document comes from NCT. We don't know actually what happens. Whether we will be sending it to the government colleges. Whether we will send tag it to the other B.Ed colleges or what? Actually, we don't know. So these are all things we have to consider and and think in a very serious manner, so that we can we can come uh, in terms of the solutions, so that we can uh, guide the government also. We can help the policymakers to take good policy uh, frameworks. And one year B.Ed is also prevailing in many of the countries. No research says that four-year degree is better than one-year degree. Even in the New Zealand, Australia, America, UK, you we find postgraduate diplomas in teacher education. They are doing very well. Even Hong Kong and uh, uh, the Scotland, Singapore are also running quite good uh, teacher education courses. They are the renowned courses. Then why it is all of a sudden four-year teacher education uh, can be uh, thought of? And even NEP talks about the internship. it's very serious about having rigorous internship but it never talks about the demonstration schools helta ida internship thumba serious aagbeku andre but namma vidyarthigalige shalegalu kododhe illa icic shale ho keli niu bekidre internship kodtini andre they won't allow you at all then how to resolve this even the modalyar committee has rightly mentioned that there must be at least one demonstration school under each teacher education institution 1952-53 सजेस्ट आगे अंड ईवन टीचर ट्रेनिंग इनिट्यूट शुड कंडक्ट इन सर्विस ट्रेनिंग आलो वि आर् नाट डूयिंग इट फॉर् आलमोस्ट सिक्स सेवन डिकेट सो दीज आर् आल दिंग्स वि शुड कन्सिडर फॉर् द इंप्लीमेंटेशन आफ एन पी एंड ईवन कोठारी एजुकेशन कमीसी कमिटी आलो सजेस्टेड दैट द टीचर ट्रेनिंग इनिट्यूट मस्ट हेल्प द नेबरी स्कूल दे शुड गईड दे शुड गवर्न दे शुड मॉनिटर इट बट नो बी एड कॉलेज आर् डूयिंग दिस because we don't have the provisions also unless and until the university will make a rule yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we make a rule the colleges will not accept it as a good practice as a good practice very handful examples we are having actually very happy to listen from you and another important thing university education commission of 1949 radhakrishna commission which has mentioned that for every teacher educator he or she must have school based experience how many of the teacher educators are having this actually very few so unless and until we make the changes in these rules we cannot revamp and bring the changes and one important aspect also we are going for globalizing the education system there is a licensing system for teachers in us uk in the initial stage the government will assess your competency and give a license for 2 to 3 years in meanwhile the teacher educator or the teacher has to improve the competencies and prove again and again that he is a fit for teaching so this licensing concept is also missing in the edp so when we talk about the globalization 
when our teachers will be the world leaders, world teachers, definitely such kind of improvement, such kind of regulations must be added in the NEP and so that we can expect lot of changes and NEP is strongly suggesting that technology should be the heart of every teaching learning element. And all these years we have lot of commissions which I have suggested to have at least 6% of GDP. And till today we are having, we are spending just 2.93 percentage of GDP. If the case is so, how to develop the infrastructure? Many of the schools and colleges, even the university setup actually, we find very difficult to have the improved or advanced technology. We need lot of systems, we need lot of UPS facility and even the internet. If the case is so, why can't government will start a new industries? from the point of economics I am talking now. When it wants to develop infrastructure, why can't India have its own computer development industry? And even why can't the BSNL can be strengthened, which is killing day by day. So that we can provide free internet facility to all the learners, all the teachers. We can expect good technological advancement in terms of using teaching learning process. And the best aspect of NEP, as I rightly mentioned that, of course, there are a lot of positive points, no doubt about that. But unless and until we have a thorough introspection in all these aspects and how best in every aspect we can contribute and make a cry and suggest to the government and policy makers that these are the things we need changes in terms of the development of teacher education. The government will not be even knowing actually what are the hurdles we are having. And what I strongly suggest from this forum is Try to have and consolidate these important suggestions and at the end of your conference try to make it as a document, publish it wherever it is possible, maybe in the newspaper, maybe in the form of article or in the journal or else suggest it to the government bodies, even a copy you may send it to the Department of Education and to the Honorable Registrar and Vice Chancellor also so that wherever they get an opportunity in, in terms of interaction with the higher education minister or in terms of yes he will come he will bring those points uh, into the different platforms so that we can expect few changes at least which will definitely be helpful for all the teacher educators and in turn definitely it will going to be helpful for the student teachers so thank you very much for your patient listening and a detailed keynote address will be delivered after this program very few points which i have bought and I feel the same points will not be repeated in my keynote address as well. Thank you very much.